Paul Yud, be long gone by now. How is he? I'm worried about him. He's messed up, Robert. Yeah, by you. I haven't touched him, not once. Not in that way. Liar. Have you any idea what you've done to him? No. No, I haven't. Do you want to know why? Because nothing happened. Not in the way he says, anyway. What's that supposed to mean? I need to talk to Aaron. I don't think so. Who the hell do you think you are? First you accused me of being some kind of... Paedophile. What, touched the nerve of her? He's my son. My own flesh and blood. Yeah, and that doesn't stop people like you. I'm losing my patience now. The first time he was, what, eight years old? Eight years old, crying himself to sleep because his mum had left. I've had enough of this. And then you go and do something like that to him? Worse than a parent could do to a child. The last time, Aaron's got it wrong. You must have heard of these people who remember things that never even happened to them. False memory syndrome? And the second time was a couple of years later. Stop me if I've got any of this wrong. I'm not going to pretend I was the best dad in the world. And I know I should never have hit him. Hit him? Really? Yeah, really. And I know I'm a hypocrite for chucking him out after what he did to Sandra, but you know what? I was protecting my family from his temper. Or was it because looking at him reminded you of what he did? <sighs> Do you know what? All right. Let's pretend what you're saying is true. Just for a minute. If I did what you said, then what the hell am I doing here now? Well, you thought you could get away with it. If I am what you say I am, then why after kicking him out was he literally begging his mother to move back home again? Robert, he's led you up the garden path, mate. But it's not his fault, for reasons I can't explain right now. So if you'll excuse me, I need to find my son.